We are in the little hamlet of Heward in Dorset, West Dorset, and we've come to see uh, this little cottage, um, which is number five Heward. It's a little track that leads down to the bottom of the hamlet to a number of cottages down here. Outside there is uh, a parking space there, and there's a shed and a little plinth there. Now, these two items are not actually on the title uh, for the property, but they've been in use by the current owners and the previous owners, and so there is an established use, and the owner tells me that, um, you know, we don't think it belongs to anyone else. I'll just show you, there's a couple of cottages down there, and this one is actually on the corner. Um, it's bigger than it looks from here, though, because there's also another piece downstairs that extends out the back. little picket gate leads into the front garden. There is also a tiny little outside space where there's a log store. And uh, this is your main seating area. So you've got a good patio, a couple of steps there up to the little planting area. There's two small apple trees. And actually this side is south facing, so it's quite a nice little sunny spot. I'll just go indoors. So you've got a quarry tiled floor in here which goes on into the kitchen and right in front of us is a very useful little utility cupboard. I can open it. With plumbing and space for your washing machine and tumble dryer. Which is quite handy. Uh, this side goes into the kitchen. As you come into the kitchen area, there's some shelves there. A uh, little table space. There's a window seat. There's a window bench built in and another little built-in seat just there. The kitchen itself is quite small but perfectly formed, as they say. Uh, electric range cooker. And then you've got a ceramic sink, a bit of space for a little fridge and freezer, worktop and some wall shelving. And then this side, there's a little single skin add-on at the side of the property which, which gives a little downstairs loo. So there's a lobby here with a sink and some cupboards. And then around the corner is Hello. Well, over the other side of the hallway is the really pretty little sitting room. And there's a flagstone floor in here underneath the rug. window at the back with a little window seat and another one at the front and that door there leads to the staircase very nice fireplace um, with a wood burning stove which is nice and toasty in the winter um, the heat is as that, through the stove there or electric heaters a number of electric heaters um, throughout the property and then you've got a downstairs bedroom, which as you can see has two single beds in it at the moment. So quite a nice size room. And there is a door there that leads to the log store, which doesn't go anywhere else. Um, but it's a really useful covered area out there. Not very easy for me to show that at the moment and hold the camera. And then you've got a little wardrobe, quite a deep wardrobe really, but it's got a window in it. So that's quirky as well. So this section is a little extension really and you can see there's a, a little loft space here because this is only single storey. Let's back into the sitting room again. 
So the upstairs area is just beautiful. There's um, windows to the front and the back up here as well. And we are obviously in the loft space. There is a very low beam as you come in and then the bathroom the other side as you can see. It's oh, me hitting my head. Um, just a beautiful room this. But you do have to be careful with your head. The ceiling height is quite low. Um, and as you can see, it comes down quite low either side of the room. And then off this room is the bathroom, which is actually quite a big bathroom and you wouldn't expect it to be this large. That's a sweet room. Window that side. Little recess. And then you've got the bath and the sink. And in that cupboard there are the water tanks. There you go. Lovely little place.